Hello everyone. In uh, this video, we're going to show you with a simple business problem uh, how to use each function and what does the each uh, keyword really means. So we have a lot of numbers in the table and what we, what we would like to do is to extract only the largest number from each of these text, text strings. So first, what we need to do, we need to split it by the limiter and then we will receive a list and from that list we wish to extract only the largest number. So let's try to do it. First we need to upload the data into Power Query. And now let's add an additional column. Let's call it the custom column and let's call it try number one. And for this column we will use a function called text.split and we will use the numbers column and we will say that we wish to use semicolon as a delimiter and after we if we click on ok we will receive a new column and in that column if we observe each of the nest lists we will see that it consists of all the values split by the limiter so this approach would be to try to introduce list dot max m function which should return the maximum value from each row when we confirm what we receive is not the actual thing that we want to receive so for the first row we will we see that we receive a number 99 while if we observe the same row we can see that there are a lot of other numbers that are bigger than the one that we retrieved why is that so? It's because uh, the list max at the current state is returning the maximum of text values, not numbers. So these here are actually text values. Text split will not transform the value into a number. So now let's go to uh, let's go to add another custom column, and now we will call this a correct correct uh, maximum. And we will again use text.split. We'll again use numbers column and we will say that the delimiter is semicolon. Okay, so this is the list, but this list consists of text values. We need to transform that values to a number. We will use a function called list.transform. And now let's observe what are the arguments of this list, of this function. So the first argument is list as lists. This is okay, we have it. And the second argument is transform as function. Now this is really important. We need to introduce a function as a second argument of this list transform m function. So let's go with comma. And now we will introduce a function. How to introduce a function? We need to use the syntax of opening and closing brackets and we need to use the equal and the largest sign. And let's say that we want to use uh, the variable, let's call it input text. Okay, so this input text is coming into our function. And what is it really accepting? So this input text is going to use each of the values of the nested list. So in this row, the input text will become this number, this number, this number, this number for each uh, for each row. Why? Because list transform is an iterative M function, which means that it invokes a sort of a row context, which means that input text will become each of these values as it iterates through the nested list. And now what we need to do, we need to say, okay, for each row of this nested list, what we want to do, we want to, to transform the text to a number by using a number, number dot uh, from, from text function. And what is the argument of that function? The argument is input text. 
And when we close this, let's open it so that you can see the whole the whole uh, M. After we confirm, we receive again a list, but this time the list consists of numbers, not text values. And now if we go to list dot max, we can see that now the values being returned are the correct ones. Now let's observe this input text and again the input text variable for each iteration. We can replace this with the syntax each and after we replace this with the syntax each we can call that uh, variable with the underscore. So the underscore plus each is a default iterating function norm and can be used as a syntax for a larger uh, part of code that is being executed in the background. So if we confirm this, everything works just as it worked with the custom function invoke. Yeah, so that was all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And the note, this wasn't about explaining you how to uh, extract the maximum value from list because there are better ways to do it. But to explain you how does the M engine works under the hood and to explain you uh, what does the each syntax is really transformed into. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.